Hi, this is Stan Lau with Master Math. During today's lesson, you're going to come across some You Try It pages. When you get there, hit your pause button, do the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. I hope you enjoy yourself. Basketball is a great game, and I think algebra is a great game too. In basketball, you learn the basic moves. And then you learn some tricky moves. These people are all doing crossover dribbles. The guy up in the upper left doing a back, behind his back crossover dribble. That's very tricky. In algebra, we got a couple of tricky moves too. Today we're going to talk about one, which is solving equations with variables on both sides. It's really not that hard. You'll see on the equation on this page that we got 5 minus 2x equals 3x. And I can't solve for x if x is on both the left side of the equation and the right side of the equation. I've got to simplify this so I've got x on just one side of the equation. So I've got to move the x so all the x's are on one side of the equation. And then I can simplify it and solve it. Well, by now you know you just can't move that minus 2x to the right side of the equation. It's not as simple as that. But it's pretty simple. You just got to do the inverse operation. If I want to get rid of a minus 2x, I add 2x. And I have to do that to both sides of the equation. And then it simplifies and ultimately we discover that x equals 1. So that's kind of simple. But there is some problems involved word problems that are a little tricky to set up. And so we're going to deal with one of those word problems now. This problem is going to seem a little complicated at first, but you'll be surprised. It'll make sense when we get done. Let's say your parents are going to buy a car and they've narrowed it down to two choices, a gas car or an electric car. Now the gas car is going to cost $265 per month to pay the uh, financing on it. And then you're going to have to buy gas, and it's going to cost you about $0.10 cents per mile that you drive for gas. The electric car is much more expensive, and the initial payments would be $620 per month. But electricity is a lot cheaper than gas, and it's only going to cost you $0.2.5 cents per mile to drive the electric car. Well, how are we going to? The problem is, how many miles per month would you have to travel to have the same monthly cost for the electric car and the gas car? How many miles would you have to travel before the cost of owning those cars would be even? Well, let's look at what the cost of owning the gas car is. It's told us in the problem that the base monthly charge is $265. Plus, you're going to spend $0.10 cents per mile that you travel, $0.10 cents per mile. The electric car, what's that cost? Well, I've got that written out over here, and it's $620 a month plus $0.2.5 cents per mile that you drive, $0.2.5 cents times each mile that you drive. Well, if I want to find out where it is that how many miles you drive where the cost of these two options is equal, I can just add an equal sign. If I set the cost of owning the gas car equal to the cost of owning the electric car, then I can solve for M and figure out how many miles I've got to drive before the cost of the gas car equals the cost of the electric car. I just added an equal sign right there. Well, now we've got our, our equation and we need to solve it. And actually, I rewrote the equation right there so it was a little easier to follow. I took out the gas car, I took out the electric car, and what it leaves is $265 a month plus 10 cents per mile, which is the cost of the gas car, and I set that equal to $620 per month plus 20.025 cents or 2.5 cents per mile for the cost of electricity. Now, I've got an equation, and I actually I rewrote that again, 265 plus 0.1m, which is just a simplica simplification of that, equals 620 plus 0.025m. Now, I've got an equation, and I've got to solve it. First thing I probably want to do is get rid of that 265. 
and get that on the other side of the equation. So, I rewrite this expression as 265 minus 265 plus 0.1m. And if I'm going to subtract 265 from the left side, I've got to subtract 265 from the right side. Well, now let's simplify that. The 265 and the 265 can cancel each other out and leave just 0.1m. On the right side, I've got 620 minus 265, which is 355, and the plus 0.025m hasn't changed, so I just brought that down. Well, now, I want to get rid of that 0.025m on the right side of the equation. I want to move all my, my variables to the left side of the equation. So I've only got variables on one side of the equation rather than on both sides of the equation. So how am I going to do that? How am I going to get rid of plus 0.025m? Well, it's easy. I just subtract 0.025m. And I have to subtract 0.025m from both sides of the equation. So now I've got 0.1m minus 0.025m equals 355 plus 0.025m minus 0.025m. On the right side, those two cancel each other out and leave just 355. On the left side, I've got 0.1m minus 0.025m, which is 0.075m, 7.5 cents per mile driven. Now, I've got a one-step equation. I, I want to get rid of that 0.075, which is being multiplied by m, so I'll divide by 0.075, and I have to do that to both sides of the equation. Now, on the left side of the equation, 0.075 divided by 0.075 cancels each other out and leaves just m, and there, on the right side of the equation, I've got 355 divided by 0.075 which comes to 4,733.33 miles. So, your family would have to drive 4,700 miles per month before the cost of the electric car would be equaled by the cost of the gas car. In other words, the gas car is going to be a lot cheaper unless you drive a whole bunch. Now you try this one. Hit the pause button, do the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. Okay, I'm asked to solve an equation with variables on both the left side and the right side. 2z plus 16 equals 6z. I got a z over here and a z over here. So I've got to move all my z's to one side of the equation in order to solve this. Let's get rid of the 2z on this side of the equation. And it's a positive 2z. So the way, way I get rid of it is by subtracting 2z. 2z minus 2z is going to leave 0z's and leave just the 16 that was up there before. If I subtract 2z from the left side, I've got to subtract 2z from the right side. Then I've got 6z minus 2z which equals 4z. Well now I got a one-step equation. I got 16 equals 4z and I want to get rid of that 4 that's sitting next to that z and it's a 4 times so to get rid of it I'm going to divide by 4 and I'm going to have to divide both sides of the equation by 4. The right side of the equation says 4z divided by 4 and that equals just z. The left side of the equation is 16 divided by 4, which equals 4. Okay, I got another equation with variables on both the left and the right side. And I need to get all my variables on one side or the other so I can solve for that variable. Now, the first thing I probably want to do is get rid of that plus 5 on the left side of the equation. And that may look sound confusing to you, but in the long run, you're better off doing that because I can see I'm going to have to subtract one of those numbers from the other, and I'd rather subtract 
the littler number from the bigger number, so I end up with a positive number, which means that I got to get rid of the 2x on the right side, and I got to get my 5 over to the right side. So let's move that plus 5. And to get rid of that plus 5 from the left side, I subtract 5. And I have to do that to the right side as well to keep everything equal. So now I got 3x plus 5 minus 5, which equals 3x. And on the right side of the equation, I got 2x minus 5. Now, I want to get rid of that 2x on the right side of the equation. And how am I going to do it? I'm going to subtract 2x. And if I subtract 2x from the right side, I've got to subtract 2x from the left side. On the left side, then, I've got 3x minus 2x, which equals 1x. And on the right side, I've got 2x minus 2x, which cancels each other out and leaves just minus 5. x equals minus 5. Here's another one you can try. Variables on both the left and the right side, so I've got to move my variables all to one side. Hit your pause button, try the problem, and then hit your forward key to move on to the answer. 2x minus 5 equals 3x plus 5. Well, let's get rid of that minus 5 on the left side of the equation first. So to get rid of a minus 5, I add 5. And I have to do that to both sides of the equation. Now, the left side of my equation simplifies to 2x because those two 5's, the plus and the minus, cancel each other out. And on the right side of the equation, I got 3x plus 5 plus 5, which is 3x plus 10. Now, I want to get rid of that 3x. And if I want to get rid of a positive 3x, I need to subtract 3x. And if I subtract 3x from the right, I got to subtract 3x from the left side of the equation. So now the right side of the equation reads 3x plus 10 minus 3x. That plus 3x and minus 3x cancel each other out, and it leaves just 10 on the right. And on the left, I've got 2x minus 3x, and that's minus x. So now I know that minus x equals 10, and I also know that if minus x equals 10, x equals minus 10. If you don't see that, think of it this way. Multiply both sides of this equation by minus 1. Then I'd have minus 1 times minus x, which would equal x. And then I'd have to multiply the right side of the equation by minus 1. Minus 1 times 10 equals minus 10. This one's a little tougher, but I think you can do it. Hit your pause button, work on the problem, and then hit your forward key to move on to the solution. 2x right, this one's a little hard. The value of the perimeter of this rectangle in feet equals the value of the area in square feet. What's the value of x? Well, they tell us that the, in this, for this rectangle, the perimeter equals the area. So let's set the perimeter equal to the area. The perimeter is 2L plus 2W, and the area is length times width. But I know that the length equals x. So where I see an L there, I'm going to replace it with an X. And I know that the width equals 3, so where I see a, a W, I'm going to replace it with a 3. So now I got 2X plus 2 times 3 equals 3X. I need to solve that by getting all my variables on one side, so let's get rid of that 2X by subtracting 2X. And I have to subtract 2X from both sides of the equation. Now I got 2x minus 2x plus 6, which leaves just 6. And on the right, I got 3x minus 2x, which is x. Good work. I think you now understand solving equations with variables on both sides a lot better. Now it's time to test your skills. Go to mastermath.info and download, print, and try the solving equations with variables on both sides worksheet. You can also try the interactive quiz to test your skills. And be sure to come back again real soon.